apologetic, a defense against despair when you feel so guilty that you can hardly even whisper to God, when you feel cast off, when you feel angry. We're taught to pray, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not because if you don't ask God for forgiveness, he won't forgive you. Think about it. Jesus died on the cross like 2,000 years before you ever thought about sinning, let alone thought about asking for forgiveness for it. Jesus died for you, and because Jesus died, your sins are forgiven. Not because you asked, but because Jesus died for you, your sins are forgiven. We pray, forgive us our trespasses as a comfort, a reminder that our sins are forgiven, that when guilt wells up, that when we feel like we are unapproachable, that when we feel like we cannot approach God, We can remember that he approached us. He came into this world to bear your sin, my sin, all sin upon the cross, and you are forgiven. And when you are so angry with somebody else that you don't know how to forgive them, you can look to the very same cross for the very same forgiveness. Because forgiveness, all forgiveness comes from the cross, not because you asked, not because you gave, but because Jesus died. And so when I feel guilty, I can pray, forgive us our trespasses. And remember, he died. He did. And when I need to forgive my neighbor and I am struggling to because it hurts and because I am mad because mad is just easier to feel than hurt, I can pray as we forgive those who trespass against us as as in the same way, from the same source. So just as I can look to the cross and find forgiveness for me, let me look to the cross and find forgiveness for my enemy. Let me look to the cross and find forgiveness for the thing that I cannot from my own heart forgive and pray, God, let that forgiveness come to my heart, come for my heart. Let this forgiveness be the forgiveness because there is only one kind of forgiveness. It's the kind where Jesus dies for sinners. And then we have it, all of us, even the ones where I struggle to to hold on to and struggle to let go of, Jesus would pry those sins from my hands, from my heart, and take them to the cross and bleed and die there. We, as a, as a defense against despair, are taught to pray, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us because we know that we have a God who lovingly forgives us, not because we deserve it, not because we have earned it, not because we have even asked for it, but because, because he loves us, even when we struggle to love ourselves and each other. His love for us is constant. And so we pray, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us.